Welcome to CN Movies, the show where we review movies, but from a Christian's perspective, I am the filmmaker. And I'm the film watcher. And today we're reviewing the Angry Birds movie that released in 2016. This year, actually, we saw it, and have you ever played the Angry Birds app? No, I've never played You never played any of them? I, I played a couple of them, but I wasn't really impressed, so I wasn't... Wait, I think I borrowed someone's phone and played it, like, one time, so I lied, sorry. I was never really, really impressed by it, but Tim Hawkins, did, didn't he do a bit on Angry Birds and playing it? And You don't remember? We, we just, we've seen all the Tim Hawkins DVDs now. This juncture seemed impossible, it erased a confident smile. My wife banged on the bathroom door. I said this might take away. First category is story. So basically, if you've ever played the game, you know it's about birds and they're trying to get their eggs back from the evil pigs. And that's pretty much the premise of the game, as far as I know, since I've only played it once. Um, that's about right, yeah. So the premise of the movie is these birds are all calm, they're a very peaceful society, and there are a few, specifically this one, Red, who's an angry bird, and anytime he gets angry, he just kind of goes crazy. So the, but he's the oddball in the group. Right, he's, yeah. he's odd. No, nobody else is really like him. So he has to go to ther anger therapy and uh, because he's gotten in so much trouble. So the point of the movie is he's odd, his anger isn't good, yada yada. The pigs come, trick everyone, steal the eggs, and it's their mission to get them back. And Red kind of leads the mission to get by them back. By getting all the birds angry. Yes, by yes. making everyone angry. And if you saw the trailer, it pretty much explains the story. I know you don't, I don't know if you saw the trailer. If you saw the trailer, it pretty much explains the story. The story is not why you're here. Yeah. It's for the humor. So. <laughs> um, oh gosh, we really don't have a lot of notes on the story. Uh, my plus and minus is it's pretty much what I expected for a movie based on the Angry Birds game. I wasn't expecting anything based off the Angry Birds game. And when I saw the trailer, I was like, I mean, yeah, I mean, what were, I, I think they were trying to cash in on a name, but they were many years late on it, personally. Angry Birds isn't popular like it once was. No, it's not. Popular. Have they done this years ago? Yeah. Probably. I mean, I know they made money and they're going to make a sequel, but I don't know. I don't know if it would made a better movie or not. I thought the story was good for being based on a game. Like, there's only so much yeah. you can do with some games. With that game especially, like, the whole point of the game is just knock down buildings. I mean, yeah. But they adapted it well to, like, a halfway believable storyline and... I thought it was good. Yeah, and and I guess the I think my biggest plus will probably be that the end of the movie, the climax of the movie, is the most. It's the most game. I mean, it's it represents the game yeah. to the best. Where, spoiler alert, uh, during the near the end of the movie, the Angry Birds actually launch themselves and knock over a bunch of pigs' buildings. I mean, that's what happens in the game. Yeah. So if you're expecting that, it does happen in the movie. So, it's yeah. it's probably the best part of the movie, but. And I like oh. the fact that it did start out that, you know, this was a peaceful society. Like, the birds aren't angry until yeah. the pigs come. Because so, they're already angry that have been no, yeah. no character I don't know. development. I, th I thought it was good. It was a little predictable. And it was forgettable. That's I've mostly funny. forgotten about it since we've watched it. I remember. But but it was, it was I thought it was decent. I gave it a 6 out of 10. And I gave it a 3 out of 10. Look how short, usually our story section's longer. That was pretty short. I should tell you, there's not much here. Fire! The next category is characters. I liked most of the characters, but I don't know, there wasn't, I don't think there was as many to just relate to or connect with. Um, nah. I mean, you like Red, you kind of cheer for him, but at the same time, he is kind of a jerk most of the movie. He is a jerk, and he's, he's the lead character, and all he's yeah. trying to do is just be angry constantly. Rather than being on me, as you suggested, this cake is on you! So, you want to hear a story? There's some stuff to be angry about, but he's angry about just the dumbest stuff. Yeah. For most of the movie, until yeah. the pigs take over, where, you know, it's like, it's like even a blind mouse finds cheese. And that's kind of like the pigs taking over was his time of finding cheese. Like, he's just angry about everything, regardless. So, eventually, I guess he had to be right about something. Yeah. Yeah. I think by the end of the movie, he's become more balanced. I don't know about that, man. But. I, I feel like his anger was justified by the end of the movie. Not that yes. he became a better bird or anything. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> but most of the other characters, like his friends, like Charlie, 
Bomb hardly ever says anything. Oh, you were down their names? I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Charlie was, he was kind of funny, but he was also, like, really almost borderline annoying. So about the really fast bird? Yeah, the fast yeah. bird. Um, I don't know. They were just, they were just okay. Yeah. I put, uh, pretty much everyone is predictable and plays out just as you expect. Like, from the moment you meet them, you know exactly what's going to happen with each character. Nobody changes the game or does anything different. Um, I really don't like the voice choice for Red, which is Jason Sudeikis. And if you've ever seen Jason Sudeikis in, in any movie or any show, like Son of Zorn, I think it's called, is the new one, or if you've seen him, like, on Saturday Night Live, he's just, it's not the fact that his voice doesn't change as much as his personality that he plays on TV or in a movie is always the same in every character. It's the same personality. It's like Will Ferrell, but, I, no, I give Will Ferrell an exception because I like Will Ferrell, which is, is probably wrong, but whatever. But Jason Stake is just the same as that character, and I don't even know how to describe him. It's just Jason Sudeikis. I almost feel like that's actually probably really just is Jason Sudeikis. Like, just exaggerated, you know? Like me in Christian Nutrition is an exaggerated version of me. Jason Sudeikis in everything he plays is probably an exaggerated version of him. That's what it feels like. Like, he can't do anything else. But I never... But he never really strikes me as, like, truly angry. Like, he's supposed to be the ang the angry bird, and he's not really that... He doesn't really he seem like he's that angry. Chris. He's just, like, annoyed <laughs> yeah. most of the time. Constantly annoyed. Anyway. Um... It's just like in the show Son of Zorn, which I only watched the premiere episode of, but it's like, I don't really take him as this big, strong man. He's not. He's just like a white guy uh, who's kind of smart and knows how, to, knows how to talk his way out of things sometimes. I don't know. Anyways, I thought Terry Crews would have been a perfect choice for this role. Terry Crews is the... He's he he's played in a bunch of movies and shows. Uh, he's in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and he's like the... Oh, the big buff black guy. Yeah, man, yeah. you see him in like a lot of stuff, and he always he can play, he can play, he can do humor. He's funny. He yes, he can do humor, and he actually like sounds angry when he wants to, mm -hmm. but he can also be like he's so awesome. Where am I? Ah! Say goodbye to this nasty beard. What happened to me? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Old Spice Shaving Jay. <laughs> Harry Cruz would have been the best choice for this role for Red. Like, could you even imagine? That would have been hilarious. Anyways. My only other thing <laughs> on characters was that I really was not at all... And I know you're not supposed to be impressed by the pigs, but they were supposed to be, like, this smart society that figured out, like, they built a ship and yada yada, but they're just so dumb. They just... I think it's because they play dumb and everyone... Everyone doesn't... They're like, they can't be but taking us over. They played... They're dumb. Even when they're back in their city of Pigville or whatever it's called... They're still they're dumb. They're still just dumb. Well, I think that's their whole thing is that they just... Pull, is that they are dumb and so everyone assumes that they're dumb and they're not going to do anything to them and then they do do something and they get away with it. Like, they probably have one plan. It's the plan you see in the movie and they use it on everybody. <laughs> but, you know, you only got to do it once. Like, fool me once. Shame on... Was it shame on shame me? On yeah, you. that's what they do fool every time. It's once, always shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Oh my bad. So it's always shame on them. It's never shame on me because yeah. they only probably do it once to everybody. I don't know. I will say that it felt a little bit weird that their island was so close to Angry Birds Island and that they had never attacked them before. So, uh, but for characters, I gave them a four out of ten. I gave it a six. Yeah, sounds about right. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> The next category is music. I don't remember all of the songs, but... I wrote down some. Oh, good. Uh, I put, there's a good selection of music. Especially Behind Blue Eyes by Limp Bizkit. Get over here! Oh, no. oh, 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 to be the sad man. It's a good song. Uh, there was a generic pop song that plays when the pigs have their party. And it was it just was like... The weakest song in the group. Well, it was the only one that was probably written for the movie, I think. Which is lame, yeah. yeah. Well, all the rest of the music was excellent. All of the yeah. licensed music, they made good yeah. choices. It wasn't generic. Aside from that one song, it wasn't generic pop music by Shakira, like in Zootopia. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the typical generic music that you get in a bunch of kids' films. It was a lot of good music. Yeah, yeah. They actually a picked lot of good music, mm -hmm. and it was variety. Yes. The Behind Blue Eyes was my favorite part, though. Um, yeah, I mean, do you have anything else to add on that? No, I love the music. I love great. Yeah, music I gave an 8 out of 10. I gave it an 8 as well. Good choice. Fire! Next category is animation, which I thought was amazing in this video. They did a really good job. Like, all the colors were really bright. It was beautiful. They had tons of detail. Each of the birds were unique in their own way, and, and they were very detailed. 
Um, the only thing that was flat were the pigs, and I think that they did that on purpose. But yeah, the island that the the island that the birds are on is is just gorgeous. The scenery is gorgeous. The detail is good, um, and it really looks like it feels like the game in the sense that yeah. it's very unrealistic, but in a good way. I will say on the area on the on the pigs island when you're on the island with the pigs, it looks great. When you're on the island with the birds looks great. Both the on the islands, like when looking at them close up, they look great. But when it's like, I put whenever they zoom out on the islands, it's like everything's really generic. It's like there's an island, like a circle island, and then water, and then another circle island over here, and like that well, was the entire setup of the world. And yeah, but I'm talking every time they did an establishing shot, it was just like. But that's the point because this there's is nothing a, this special. Is a world this. in the game. There's nothing else in the game besides these two worlds. But they're making a movie. They're not making a game. And so we're um, back. Yes, okay. we're judging a movie. We're not judging a game. We're just saying that surprisingly, what they pulled off based on the game. But at the same time, it's still a movie. They and could so, have done more with that, I guess. I mean, like they're. I don't know. It was the detail wise great when it got into like wide establishing shots or anything. It was just like it was plain every single time. Uh, I will say the unique designs for the bird that is inspired. It, the birds look exactly like the birds from the game, which I don't know why they would change, and they didn't, which was smart. Because had they changed it, I would have been like, this this makes no sense, but yeah. it made sense. And yeah, beautiful color-wise. Yeah. Color, colors. Very bright colors, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I guess is good for kids. Yeah. But, yeah. Do you have anything else to add on animation? No, I gave it a 10 out of 10. I gave it a 8 out of 10. Because of the generic stuff. Yeah, the generic <laughs> stuff threw me off. Fire! Fire! <laughs> The last category is Christian Nutritional Value. I thought there were a few things about this I thought were good. Um, mainly the community, which has to come together and kind of get their their eggs back. I did like the fact that it brought up how righteous anger is a good thing. You know, how there are things to be angry about. Mm -hmm. And in the community, you know, you're not angry all the time. You're not supposed to be an angry bird. You're supposed to love each other and have peace or whatever. But there are times where it's okay to be angry and, and to act on that anger and to go and get the eggs back. And I don't know. I like that aspect of it. Um, and friendship was a key element. But honestly, that probably shouldn't have, I had it as a plus. But That was my plus minus. Maybe, yeah. maybe friendship is important. But the thing is, in his circle of friends, which by the end of it, they are a lot closer, but especially at the beginning, like, they lie to each other and they, like, trick each other. Even yeah, it's completely place. okay. And yeah. Never... It's, it's just kind of weird. Like, yeah. I didn't really like that part of it. No. Um... I said, yeah, I said lying happens a lot, and it's never it's never condemned, though. Yeah. Like, usually when bad stuff happens in the beginning, by the end of the film, you've learned. That's not okay. Yeah. You shouldn't do that to your friends. You shouldn't lie to them, but... No, never it's said. never said. Yeah. Uh, there's... And God's name is used in vain multiple times by the mime bird. Good good job yeah. on my part by saying who, who it was this time. So yeah. just... <laughs> yeah, and there's replacement for cuss words are used, which, you know, depends on your view, could be bad. Such as cluck instead of... Yeah. Yeah, 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 the bad word. I mean, you can if you guess what replacing that is for. So stuff like that's throughout the film, uh, and I I personally said there's no moral lesson at all throughout the entire film. There's just no moral lesson. There really isn't. Ain't Jason Sudeikis is the same character at the end of the film. He was at the beginning. Of the oh, film. that that is characters. That's yes, but I'm lesson. but my the moral point, lesson of the film. Moral is lesson usually ties in with the main character. Good times to be angry. <laughs> that's a terrible moral. I'm just lesson. saying. Oh my gosh, this is movies for meant for kids. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. This isn't meant for adults. Kids But kids need to learn how to deal with their anger too. I mean that's kind of the point is by kicking pigs or and launching themselves into houses. My point is that there's no real moral lesson in the film. It doesn't really tell it doesn't like it's if it's meant for kids it needs to be a little bit more blatant than trying if you're catching something and I'm not. Because I'm I'm viewing this as as how would a kid watch this, not right. as how would I watch this. Yeah. I just view it as a kids' I, I movie. This isn't like Pixar, where there's like, I don't know. There really wasn't that much of this film. You did, you you said, okay, so I said that God's name is used in vain multiple times. You actually put specifically three times. Mm -hmm. You're good at counting this stuff. I I'm pretty count. sure it was three times. Oh, I'll, I won't doubt you on that one. Uh, sexual innuendos and gross stuff. What sexual innuendos were there? You remember? The old eagle looking at a naked old woman. I don't know. That was weird and gross. Oh, and actual then, woman? No, it was a bird. Oh. But I don't know. Was that the beginning of the film or something? No, it was when you meet the eagle, I think. And then him, like, really oh, weirdly... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him okay. really weirdly peeing in the pool right in front of them. Like, uh, that was weird. Yeah. 
I mean, that was that was dumb. That's more of like teenager humor, I guess, than kids humor. I mean, I'm sure kids are gonna think it's hilarious, but I I don't know. Because when they're in the they're in the pool and they're like spitting out water with their mouths, yeah. and it turns out that's where he goes to pee. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, that's I, really not meant for kids, I guess. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I just didn't like it. I think there could be a lesson there of don't. Don't, don't drink the water. Don't drink the water from the pool. I think that could be a very important lesson right there. Um. Well, and I don't think I wrote this down. I didn't write this down. Yeah. But I did. I really didn't like the fact that of how the hero, because everyone in the village like thinks that the eagle is the hero and the savior of the world. Yeah. And the oh, hero, voiced by Peter Dinklage, by the way. Right. Yeah. The hero was like terrible, and like he does come in the end to help, but he's still like this proud like. I, I think he's just like a he's like he's like he one time was a hero and now he's no longer a hero. Yeah, but he's but he has no humility or no nothing. He's just like yeah. I'm oh yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. can't do anything anymore, but I'm still a hero. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Kind of like YouTube heroes, but anyways, you don't know what that is yet. I'll tell you about it later. Anyways, so what's your final score for Christian nutritional value? I gave it a five. And I gave it a one out of ten. There is almost nothing here. And I put, by the way, which I didn't mention this, when I put maybe, maybe friendship is important, how stupid and generic. I just want to clarify, I really thought it was dumb. Fire! <laughs> Our final score for the Angry Birds movie is a 59 out of 100. I, even though we somehow got over a 50 because he because of your score. I was a little generous. Yeah, you were a little generous, but that's I the difference in perspective here. Wouldn't probably wouldn't recommend it. I would not recommend it for your kids, honestly. I would recommend it for probably the group that's not going to watch it, which is teenagers. Like that's probably where I would start this film at because there is no, almost no value and there's a bunch of stuff, but it's like it's like teenage middle school. I'm thinking more like high school, but like that's not really the group that's gonna want to see this movie. Yeah. So I'm not sure who went and saw the movie. I think it probably was parents with kids. With kids, yeah. Probably. I don't. I'm, I don't know. I didn't really pay attention when it came out. But yeah, that's it. I mean, <laughs> the best thing it had going for it was the was the artistic part of it. That's pretty much the it. animation. Yeah, the yeah. animation. Stay tuned. Is next time we review Scooby Doo, released in 2002. Oh, it rhymed. I'm looking forward to this review. You we'll are not. See. You are not looking forward to this movie. What do we usually say at the end of these? Thanks for watching. Subscribe, subscribe and bye. bye. Oh, we should probably say that, huh? Thanks for watching. Subscribe and bye.